starting in 5 seconds mr chairman the discussion on the resolution put forward by mr sinha and the substitute motion put forward by mr das has turned out to be a discussion in the nature of a general discussion of the budget of the all india radio i do not want to go into all the considerations which have been put forward but i want to say one thing about the substitute motion that has been put forward by mr das i think in india we are developing a passion for having committees and commissions we want a committee or a commission for every blessed thing that there is in india i think there are millions and millions of things in india i would say that before we think of having any other commission or committee appointed we should first of all read the reports of those committees and commissions which are before us digest them and take action on them and then think of doing something else for instance what is the record of the ministry of broadcasting in the matter of the film inquiry committee report they have now the press commissions report the two bodies have been set up by this ministry what action has been taken on the report of the film inquiry committee and what action is going to be taken on the report of the press commission i think that the press commission's report may be thrown into cold storage we will not allow it to be thrown into cold storage i know what has happened to the report of the film inquiry committee therefore i say that this passion for committees and commissions should be curbed and we should not run away with the idea that the commissions will provide the panacea for all our ills and that a committee will cure all our difficulties and troubles therefore i think it is no use appointing a commission at this stage to go into the question of broadcasting there is another thing my friend has been asking for the appointment of a cooperation i am a member of the lok sabha and if you ask me to be a part to the appointment of a corporation it would be tantamount to this that i abrogate almost all my responsibilities and privileges as a member of the lok sabha i was trying saying that the need is for direct control the control should not be slackened for a minute unless it is done i am sure the lines on which these persons want the radio to develop will not be possible why i say that there should be a perpetual vigilance on the part of the parliament is for this reason if there is corporation my honorable friend the minister of information and broadcasting will be the most happy person he will have all the privileges which he is having now and he will not have the necessity of coming before us to give answers to our questions and to submit to us reports he will have all the privileges and very little responsibility for that i say that the control which the parliament exercises over the all india radio at the time of the budget is sufficient to make these people wake up it is sufficient to make these people active who are slack it is sufficient for those people who practice nepotism to be fair and if there is a 
corporation the whole thing will go away and we shall not have any control over the all india radio now we have control over appointments through the public service commission and if we have a corporation i do not think you will have that control we have control over the all india radio on account of the public accounts committee and the estimates committee my friends have said that the estimates committee has suggested 92 improvements to be made in the all india radio i think that shows how effectively and how comparatively the work has been done when work of that kind is being done by the estimate committee and the public accounts committee and when the whole thing comes before the house i do not see why we should have a corporation of this kind we in india in this transitional era are suffering from self contradictory impulses on the one hand i see on the floor of this house something being said that we should not take this country or that country as our model and on the other hand a gentleman wants us to follow the bbc model or some other model that is a self contradictory impulse somewhere in the 2004 issue of this quarterly i find an article not elogizing the corporation but an article on the subject of the ills of the british broadcasting corporation the gentleman has gone into the question and given us the reason for that and also the remedies for that i would therefore say that we do not need a corporation stop